Yo guys, what is up? It is Teacher's Game 2 coming at you again with another video and I am going to show you how to build a chandelier in this video. Now obviously as you can see I've got some, uh, this is the oil cave on Valguero, which is an awesome cave if you don't have it yet. I've got some of my mesh defense right there. You'll probably put a couple of regular turret towers outside and stuff like that, but then what you really want to do because it's hard to raid, it's hard to go after these things mostly because they have so much health. You want to build yourself a chandelier. For those of you that don't know what a chandelier is, literally all it is, you're looking at it right now, you place a cliff platform on a wall like this right here, and it covers you from above so somebody can't just flak run you. And what flak running, all that means is that somebody literally gets really good flak, like the stuff I have on right now with insane armor on it, 461, all that kind of stuff, and they just sprint at you with C4 and blow up your turrets. However, if they're up in the sky, that's much more difficult, and it helps defend your base. Of course my dude is thirsty. Let me fix this. All right, I went ahead and gave him some water and some food, so hopefully we're good for a little bit. Now, again, this is a chandelier. All you need to do is basically build it this way. There are tons of different styles to build this. I have seen so many hundreds of different ways to build it. It's entirely up to you. I like to sink my foundations into it a little bit so they're not nearly as exposed. But that's my personal opinion, so you can do this however you want. However, this is how I do it. Um, you could sink it. You don't have to. It's not a requirement by any standards, so just know that. Um, but that's what I do. So I just sink it down. Usually, let's call it, I don't know, three, four, five times maybe. Um, you'll see it right there. Pick both these things up. Ba -ba -da. I know this, this is a pain in the butt part, kind of, where you have to go through this. Um, Right there and just sink it down I don't know let's call it three or four times I know it's really dark up here I don't know if I want to turn my gamma up too much more though I think that might be a bit excessive so let's put a tech light down for right for just for the time being let's split off one of these guys maybe you're not gonna oh, I have to make it into a shard don't I oh well I'll just put a generator down for now and that'll do that'll do fine really it's obstructed all the way over there that's weird. Anyways, I don't need to lower this too much. It's just a pet peeve of mine. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to usually surround these guys right here. I don't know. You could do a four box. Entirely up to you. Um, there's a lot of different ways to do this. Da, da, da. You can't actually build over there, so we're not going to do that anyways. But basically all you're trying to do right now is build a flat area on top, just like a normal turret tower, because you're going to have turret up on top as well as down below. Um, so it's something that you can do. I'm just going to build a little box right here as an example, and we'll go from there. Put down my tech Jenny right in the middle of it. Does not matter for right now for purposes. Activate the power. Now the one thing that about this, you want to make sure you want to increase this radius. We're just going to put maximum on this guy. So thankfully it covers a huge space, as you can see right now. A huge space is covered by this generator, which is nice, but it burns through element, which is a problem, obviously. Now, it's entirely up to you. I don't like leaving doors on these things because doors are weaker than walls and easier to break in. Oopsies. So I usually just box it in, fill it up with uh, what I need to, and then let it be. Now, what you're going to do next, there's your generator right there. You want on the edge of this or however you want to do it. It's an, I mean, Obviously, again, this is up to you. Because you're using a tech generator in this one, you have to build things. There's no particular order how you need to do it. So do whatever you want, whatever makes sense for you. Basically, I'm going to show you one method here, and I'll show you another method on the other side. You take a foundation. I would use block. It just makes me, I don't know, I'm a little OCD about that. And then what you can do, take a couple of these guys right here, some of your giant hatch metal frames, and you go ahead and put them out like that because turrets get maximum cover from that. Take yourself a metal pillar and put it going down. Now, this is the weird thing for a lot of people. Like, this doesn't make sense. I don't understand what you're doing. So you've got your turret coverage up top with those two right there. And now what we're trying to do, very simply, we're just going to put this, maybe, come on, one more. And then what we'll do is get one last guy right here. And then we're going to put a ceiling down. Now, what happens when you put down a ceiling, just like this, doesn't matter necessarily where it is. You can build these however you want, as I've said before. You're going to basically hover this guy up in the sky, like so, because the Giga is blocking it. It's a problem. Like, please, come on, let me click. There it goes. There's one there. Oh, I 
to get a little bit of support over there. So you could go all the way down and support that, but I'm not going to do that because I'm feeling a little bit lazy. And then you just put those guys up. So you can see that down here, you cannot flak run this because, well, the generator's up top, so you'd have to fly in here. The turrets are going to hit you as you enter the door, and there's nothing on the ground. So not only does it save space for you, but it also saves space for your base, and defensively it makes it a lot easier to defend because you could sit up there much safer than down here. Let's say somebody gets into the trike. You can sit up there and just pick them off or put a dragon up there as well with some, uh, some attack on it. It's entirely up to you. So what you do with the chandelier is I'll show you real quick. It ends up looking pretty cool as well. Like when you walk in, you're like, that is sweet looking. I'm going to turn this light on because I know it gets dark in here. That is way too bright though. Come on. Intensity. Please. Down. There we go. There's a little bit of lag spike. And what you do, take your turrets. Doesn't matter what kind. You can put tech. You can put regular turrets over there. I'm not going to turn the tech ones on because I don't think I've unlocked for this character. But you can see the point. You take the tech turrets. I usually do every other. For those of you that do not know this, if you just have tech turrets, they do not shoot rockets. So you need heavy turrets to help you cover that. Now, as you can see, heavy, tech, tech, heavy, tech, tech, however you want to do it. I just usually go half and half. So I'm going to go around this way. Da, da, da. You can fill these with as much as you want. This one will cover from above, shooting down on things, which is what is really helpful in general. Now, you can load yourself up. Because these things are so hard to take down, having a lot of turrets on, uh, turrets on them is not necessarily an awful thing. As a matter of fact, the more the merrier, because you don't want somebody to C-spin in your base with a pteranodon. So you want to avoid that. You're literally just building out, just like you see right here. And da da da. We'll do one of these guys just, you know, just for the fun of it. Maybe, maybe, really, that'll do. All right. So you've got your upper layer. Yes, you could have figured this one out on your no, are your own. I get that. Some of them are turned off and on. Doesn't look the prettiest. But let me show you how you get to the bottom layer. You just take your flyer. If you wanted to build this a little bit uh, bigger down here in the bottom layer, you could. I would really encourage you not to do that, however, simply due to the fact that the more room you put... Oh, all right, Giga, you need to move, but Come on. You're just giant. That's, I guess that's why you were called the Gigantosaurus or the Gigantonotosaurus. Um, for those of you that haven't seen my video on it, this guy was there for meshing purposes, so that way he can kind of provide a little bit of defense against that. I'm going to move him out of the way for now, though, just for the time being, just for the time being. And we're going to hop back on the Pteranodon. Now, yes, you can delete this bottom one. Sometimes it does destroy as well. I don't know why. About half the time it brings the entire thing down for like the, the upper level, but uh, you could put another one all the way to the ground. There's a lot of different ways to defend this thing right here. So, as you can see, all you have to try and do is land your pteranodon, and mine's being a pain in the butt right now. It doesn't want to land. I might just try the jump off. Oh, no, we're good. The jump off method. Maybe. Uh, I should land, I think, maybe, we'll see. Going for it, nice. So as you can see, I am above the ground, right here. You could build ladders up here. I wouldn't though, because that means other people can get up to it as well. And you just wanna be high up off the ground. Obviously this chandelier could be all the way up there. You don't need to put it low, low to the ground at all. You can put it wherever you want. And all you have to do is, again, vary your turrets. Tech are great, however, not exactly great at defending against rockets. Uh, somebody could literally sit there and just rock at them. No big deal. Now, not only that, but it takes a little bit of travel time too. So somebody could walk around the corner with a tech rifle and just start firing. So you want to make sure you've got some heavies because they're instant, whereas these techs take a little bit of time to travel when they're shooting at things. Put another one here. And uh, as you can see, it's a pretty simple process. Um, there's nothing that's super difficult about it. It's kind of how you want to build it. This is how I have done it in the past. It works great. I have no complaints about it. Um, it's done good at defense, and as you probably can tell, that Metal Cliff platform has 100,000 health, so it's a lot. That thing will defend you pretty well. Now, this is one style of building down underneath. This is obviously not the only style. There's lots of different ways to do it, um, but you can just build the pillars straight down. The other style is kind of using like a box method without pillars. Um, you can put a pillar core in the middle, but it's up to you. And basically all you do with this method is you just take another foundation, just like that. I left that one a little bit too far off. It's up to you though. And you're gonna take yourself, that right there, a ceiling, put yourself some walls going down, and you can literally create yourself just a, a tube looking thing. Now usually the reason that I don't use these is because 
uh, LOS, which just means line of sight on your turrets, can be a little bit obstructed by these things. Um, it can be useful at times, and other times it's kind of just like, well, I guess it's got a little more health and you have a lower probability of losing it. But um, it can also be line of sighted by a lot of things, and I don't like that happening. Um, but that's my personal opinion. You can do whatever you want, obviously. You are your own functioning, sometimes functioning, at least I hope, uh, Arc Tribe, so you decide on that one. Now, all you got to do in order to make this work is actually find a point. Maybe I can't find one. It's not going to let me. Okay, whatever. I'm not going to worry about it then. So take yourself your exact same strategy. You can put these guys right here wherever you want, these metal hatch frames. It does require being near uh, supports, though. So you could put them right over. There it is. That's what I was looking for. So you put one right there. You can put them as low as you want. You can go all the way to the ground with these things. It's not necessarily a bad idea to go all the way to the ground because then you're not only covered from the ground, but you are also covered from the uh, top as well. So if they blow it down here, you're good. You got coverage from the top, or if they blow it from the top, it's still connected to the ground, so you're good to go as well. Now, obviously, there are different ways to connect to this, what I would really encourage you to do. Um, try and have a ceiling of some sort, because it makes it a lot easier to land on this and put bullets in it first. You can always destroy this later. You don't have to. Um, wow, I just can't land this thing right now. That's just fun. Thank you. So as you can see, trying to land on this with a pteranodon can be not fun, but it's better than not being able to do this at all. So basically, this guy right here, you just walk right over to it. Not a big deal. Um, so, that's, oh my goodness, I fell all the way down though. So you get the point though. You just put your turrets up there. Now what I would do is I would mix this sort of chandelier looking thing. This isn't my prettiest one by any means and you can make these however you want. I would probably spread them out because you can put three cliff platforms in an area amongst three different cliff platforms because really firing down on things is super useful. It really is helpful. And uh, so put one there, maybe one up there, and then one over on this side as well. Because you want also these things to cover each other. So if someone is able to line of sight one of these turrets and kind of like hide a little bit, they won't be able to from one of the other chandelier towers that you are able to build. Chandeliers are super fun. You can do them however you want. Um, there's a method I've also seen where you don't even use pillars. You just use one row of walls and it kind of creates like a, a faux wall too, if you want to call it that. And that one can be pretty fun. But also, as always, I would probably pair it if you can. Obviously not required with, why am I not clicking? There we go. Um, some form of ground turret tower as well. It doesn't even matter too much the ground turret. It could just be a pillbox, literally just a tiny little thing with some, uh, some of these pillars around it. So you just get a little bit off the ground and that helps. But really, you just want to maximize the amount of turret at one point. Because if you're walking through this, this is the only way into oil cave. And you're getting fired at from up there, over there, over there, and up above. It's going to be hard to break the base because you can't really just stare at stuff with a trike if everything is coming from every direction. So this is what chandeliers look like. Um, if you have any suggestions or if you're like, hey, you know, have you ever tried this method out? I mean, there's tons of different ways to do it. This is kind of a quick little thing to show you how to do this stuff. You do not need a pteranodon to do this. You can easily use ladders to go up and down and just destroy them later because, again, you don't want people moving around your stuff in the long run. All right, hopefully this video helps you out a little bit, and uh, that's a chandelier. Not the prettiest one, but it does, uh, it serves as a purpose, and that's really all that matters. All right, Teacher's Game 2, out.